What's up guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to VHV Engines. So I have a, a bunch of stuff that I wanted to talk about, but I needed to let some of the chips like fall into place first before I could bring it up. Um, I felt like I needed a little bit more information, some discussions that needed to happen. And then I kind of like that ushered into me doing a little vacation time. And for the five days I was gone, I didn't want to do any work. Now I'm still technically on vacation, but I am back in town, I'm back home. Um, uh, I haven't really spent any, of course, I've been away from my family, so I've been spending the last couple of hours chilling with my kids. Wife's going to be home soon. Going to be spending some time there. But as per the norm, once they go to sleep, I am going to get to work. It's my last day before I'm going back to work. So I'm going to treat this like I normally would at the end of my weekend, and I'm going to do fill my night up with work. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I didn't do before I was going to leave that I was going to do that I'm going to be doing now. And I, this also includes these, uh, these videos. This is this one and another one. I was going to do like three or four. I've settled on two for reasons. So anyway, uh, this being the, the one that really has me excited here because like a year or so back, we, we talked about, no, no, maybe not a full year, more like a half a year ago when I discussed, um, you know, budget turbo kits or whatnot. Uh, at the same time too, um, we, the discussion came up of, the Chinese manifolds, they're the ones that are like kind of like the copies or whatnot and how good they are or how reliable they are and such and such and, and so on and so forth. Um, so my old tuner, the guy who tuned my Del Sol and the car that got stolen in 2016, uh, a, is somebody I've, I've kind of like pretty loosely kept contact with over the years since I've been, since I came back to Florida, um, in 2014. And, uh, and so I think like a year or so back, he started making turbo manifolds and I hadn't really got a chance to get up close to see him and I hadn't got a chance to talk to him about it in detail or whatnot. And that changed uh, a week or two back. Um, so I mentioned that I would throw them out there and I would also like to be able to carry these. Now, this is one of those situations where like cylinder support system, right? Like, of course, you don't need to go through me to get a CSS block. Um, you can just go straight to CSS yourself. If you have your own block, you want to send it out or whatever. This is, you know, you can go through me as in maybe I already have some block stockpile that are CSS and ready to sell, or maybe I can get one for you and send it out. So you don't have to do anything with the packaging and you don't have to find a block. You can just, you know, ask for one and get it. This is another one of those scenarios with the turbo manifold. Now, of course, you don't need to go through me to get a manifold, a manifold from Lee, but uh, what I would eventually like to do is when I have enough spare money to spend on one of these up front that I start, I'll buy one or two and have it stockpiled. Uh, so that way I can have a turbo manifold option for those of you guys that want to buy a turbo kit through me and want an upgraded manifold. You don't want to go with a log manifold or whatnot. Now, of course, these manifolds are budget friendly as compared to what a uh, high dollar or high performance manifold would normally be a lot of times like if you look at the klm and whatnot you're looking like eleven hundred dollars and above to get into a reputable brand uh lee's had his manifolds up to 900 something horsepower and they hold together just fine they make power just fine and they're they're you know custom uh, well, custom built for per order the majority of the time and they're made here in the united states and it's not something that's mass produced. This is somebody that's taking his time to do these by hand. And um, and they're very well priced. So now I haven't managed to, to, to talk shipping yet. So I think that there that might have to be something to cover later on. But overall, I, we have a, a solid price. And it's uh, the Sidewinder, uh, Sidewinder manifolds for the K-Series are $800. And um, they can come in T3 or T4. Or you can get V-band, although if you get the V-band mount, it is an extra $50. And uh, also top mount for B-series and top mount for H-series, also $800, right? And uh, also he also does have a top mount AC-friendly option that is uh, $850. So you're getting a manifold that's, you know, that's handmade, you know, custom for you, and it is under $1,000. So that's pretty good. Also... If you want to look at the super budget, like to get something at a really good price, he also is offering Ram horns, which are 650. So it's that $650, you're looking at like a 13, 1320 prices or whatnot, except for you don't, you know, you know that this isn't like a mass reduced thrown out thing with schlag everywhere on the, on the, on the welds or whatnot. So there's that. 
And um, the only reason why I haven't invested in one right now is because I'm deliberately keeping my budget for my K-Series long block right now on the low side because I'm deliberately trying to go as cheap as I can and I just want to make a little 500 horsepower. Again, I've thrown this out there a bunch of times. I mentioned it in my last video when I talked about the, the long block, what exactly is up with it and whatnot. Um, so that's that. Now, I think I have a couple of pictures. I'll probably use one for a thumbnail. Uh, I'm going to upload a bunch of pictures on my Instagram and whatnot. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, you got to hit me up. I think the turnaround time for a manifold, if you're ordering one, is three weeks right now, unless he has one made. And I don't believe that he does have one made. So this is why I would like to say, guys, I would like to have maybe two manifolds on hand, like maybe a, a top mount B series and a Sidewinder K series that would be ready to go. So that way you can just order and I can send it. But uh, of course, to, for me to stockpile stuff like that, that's that expensive. I have to have some capital on hand first. Uh, and I am working on that game building. I'm going to try and build some heads and sell some CSS blocks and see if I can't use that to help me build a stockpile of cash that I can use to recycle into more inventory for VHB engines. Because that is one of the big focuses of goals this year. I want to have um, shit stocked and available ready to go. So um, I'm going to leave uh, Lee's uh, Instagram and his website in the description below. It is LG Motoring. Um, and also... Oh, no, okay, that, that's for something else. Yeah, so his his social media links are going to be in the description down below. And uh, if that's something you're interested in or want to talk about, uh, hit me up and I will see what's going on with the turnaround times and whatnot. And, and again, this is something I look forward to having in the near future. All right, guys, so thanks for watching and peace.